Hi everyone. Welcome to Wing It Wednesday. <laughs> um, if you were here uh, probably 10 minutes ago, you would totally understand why we call it Wing It Wednesday. But, but I do have a, a plan. So I do have things that I want to show you and things I want to talk about. So we'll wait for people to sign on while they're doing that. I'm going to get a little bit organized. So this one we can... This yeah, one's I, gonna put back. yeah, I'll put that away. Let's see. Donna, you're early. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Put this off. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Paula. Paula, you're on. Not doing replay. Woohoo! So let's see. I have, um, what am I going to show you today? Whimsy stamps. We're going to start off with whimsy stamps. So I'm going to move these out of the way. So Whimsy is one of the companies that I said they are, um, they have a, a variety of different artists that they um, have in this company. I really like um, Dove Art and the, some of these Whimsy. They are cling rubber stamp, which I think personally is superior to, you know, acrylic, but that's who am I. I've just been stamping for 30 years. <laughs> so, but anyways, um, and I love the Whimsy because they have individual images. Um, and sometimes, you know, we don't want all that other stuff that comes in a set. We want something specific. And then this is, this company also is really great because they have a lot of what I think are masculine themed cards. So we just got a small order in and here are some of the new ones. Um, this one is Mountain Serenity. Um, the Covered Bridge. So that, I thought this one would be great for doing fall colors. But you can also, because you can change the color in the trees and such, that you can do that as summertime. If you were part of our stamp camp, we did two cards. Um, we did this Beach Serenity. So this is one of the cards that you did in stamp camp. So you can see kind of a completed version of them. This is a new one, the Stone House. So they're kind of showing you here, you can do it as a summer theme, and then here you can do it winter, you know, just by adding the snow on top. So that's kind of cool. Here is another uh, beach, and we have a lot of, we did get a lot of lighthouses in from them. Um, they had some great beach scenes. So this one's beachfront. We did two canoes. Now, for the people that did stamp camp, I said I have my version done here. And this card I took as a challenge. It probably took me over two hours to color. Um, and I'll do a close-up version. Because you can see all those different layers of colors that were added on. Um, you could take your time and really do that, or you could just simply color it. So that's like a personal thing, but um, here's another um, card that was great for um, guys. And last year, these were hard to get in stock, so I got them now. A lot of people love um, cardinal stamps, and every time I went to order them, they were out of stock. So I think I got the last couple of them that were in stock now, so we have them. And as I see them become available, I'll kind of stock up on them. And I thought this one was kind of neat, the pine cone. So these are 
whimsy. Just grab a drink of water. As I said, um, they carry a bunch of different companies and they also have some die cuts. I really like this. Um, this is called the Tree Assortment Die Set. So here you can see maybe a little bit better. You get the tree line and you get a variety of large and small little cluster of bare trees. And you can see the actual size. Um, we can kind of put it up here so you can see um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So about six inches for this one. So that tree is almost six inches. This one is probably about five. So you get it, um, you know, quite a selection. The little tree cluster, these are connected, much smaller. So those are probably about two inches. So this is the tree assortment die from Whimsy. For all you Halloween lovers, um, I thought this was really kind of cool. So you have every size tombstone um, that you pr probably would want. And you can actually, you know, cut those and get that dimension on those tombstones and you get the little black cats, you get some fencing, you get a little skull, um, you get that those little spikes which you know you can use um, to create more fencing, the little rest in peace die. If you can see that. So this is a pretty cool collection of Halloween dies. It's called Build a Graveyard Die Set. And we also have this, um, this would create a whole card, and we will actually let's let's do something with it. Let's see. We got the mica sprays in from Tim, and this is flickering candles in jack-o'-lantern and tombstone. And then this one is the hocus pocus the bubbling cauldron and crooked something. And you can see um, at the bottom, you can see the colors of these, how beautiful they are. And you definitely want to shake them. I don't know if you can see those little, hear those little balls in there. You want to shake those up and that will mix up the mica. We're going to open this one. And I'm going to grab some cardstock and I'm going to spray it and then we'll go back and um, Later, we will die cut that. So I have some card stuck over here. I'm going to grab a towel. Okay, do you mind just putting water on that for me? Because even though I'm going to kind of direct my spray, we all know better. Okay. So this is a um, collection of sprays from Tim. And they're kind of a one and done. So this is his Halloween release. So when these are done, it's his Distress Ink Color with mica in it. I just want to clean my mess up. Yeah. I'm spraying over the, the carpet, but I don't know if you can see The metallic in these. So I get that mica shaken up. So there are the two color combination sets. Um, we have these online so you'll be able to see when you order because there's no particular name on them. But I really like, I actually really like the, um, the jack-o'-lantern and the um, flickering glow. Because you can use those for fall, too. The colors are perfect for fall. And the screen with those colors. Okay, 
here's the green. And this one is Crooked Broomstick. Kind of looks like a coppery color. I wasn't really planning on opening these, otherwise I would have had it done ahead of time. So I'll, I'll check this one a little better. So we'll spray this and see what this looks like in the end. I think I have to open both sets because they're just gorgeous. Look at that kind of coppery brown. I can see that with the other colors um, for leaves. So we'll put those off to the side and I'm gonna add a little more purple, I think, in here. Okay, we'll die cut that one later if that paper is dry in time. So we have the two sprays from Tim. We also have, he has a glitter, Distress um, Chunky Glitter, and what's under here? These are mica flakes. If you can see those mica flakes and they're kind of a grayish black really cool for adding and embellishing then he has two texture paste um, and one is called crypt and it's kind of grayish and these will have a texture and I believe that there's like these little black little kind of things inside there and this is the grave texture paste The other thing that's been outside are out for a really long time, we finally got the mini domed ink blending foams in, and we have a lot of these. Finally, um, we're kind of like stocked up, and hopefully have a good supply for quite a while because who knows when um, they'll you know kind of have a shortage again. So speaking of. The rest of Tim's Halloween, we got his release in last week. A couple items um, have sold out and are coming back in. Um, this is really a fall, and this is actually a gorgeous leaf. So um, look for projects, um, you know, coming using these. Um, and yes, um, both Allison and Mona are like the the. Um, king or the queens of halloween here in the store and allison is actually working on a project that will be an upcoming class so she is definitely into the creepy so <laughs> and it, we saw a little sneak peek it's really cool she's not creepy herself just the you know her halloween she loves creepy halloween so this is the um the leaf fragments and this is the embossing folder, and this one is called, it's a 3D embossing folder. And I think this would look awesome in some of those fall colors, and we'll, we'll do something with it later, but you can see the, the dimension on this. And we have the oak leaf, 3D Impresslets. So this is the, it's a die cut and embossing folder all in one. So there's the cutting plate and you can see the, the 3D impression that's going to happen when you cut them. And here are some samples. And once again, these will look really cool in ink colors and, um, you know, those sprays will probably look gorgeous on it too. So I have a lot of these. We have some in stock already and I ordered more because I plan on using um, these as much as I can. I'm definitely a fall girl. That's my, my season. We have, this is called the Countryside die cut plate so here you would die cut this and then you can um, either the pieces that come out you can color them or you can cut different color papers and set them back in it creates a really cool background and we have the colorize collection 
Hi, Julie. Um, this is the pumpkins. And a lot of people have been doing stuff online using the little luminary lights um, in here for those pumpkins to light them up. We have the pumpkin head. And for the people that have never done colorized, um, there are less pieces and than there have been in the past. And you still get that great layered um, kind of finished look to it. But Tim has made these a lot easier. Instead of having like a million pieces, you only have a half a million. This is one of my favorites, the costume party. So you have the, the um, Dracula, Frankenstein, and the mummy. So Kim is actually um, going to be doing a colorize Halloween um, card class. So for those of you that have never used it, it will be an opportunity to see um, how you'll be able to uh, make some great cards using these um, die cuts. So look for that to come. And... Here, I, I kind of showed him the other day the skeleton. We had a little sneak peek. Hi, Margie, all the way from Virginia Beach. Um, hopefully, you're having a nicer day than we are. But here's the 3D skeleton. This one is temporarily sold out, but you can pre-order because we are getting more in. And this is the Vault series. What Tim did is he collected um, several dies that are no longer available and they're a little bit smaller and put them in a collection. So they're kind of a one and done. So once they're gone, um, we won't see them again. So this one's the Vault series. And this is Toil and Trouble, just with the witches and the little um, cauldron. You have the little mouse and the cats. And in that release, we have two of the little mini texture fades. Um, we have the Foundry, and this one is called the Mini Mechanics. So they're mini 3D embossing folders. So when you're working on smaller cards, they're more proportional to maybe what you're using rather than using the, the big images. And a lot of these were made for a project, um, using them in projects and something that he is going to be releasing um, at Christmas time. So look for that. And we can't share that with you, but you might want to get them now. So that's um, Tim's Halloween release. And next up, we have a small release from Reverse Confetti. One of my favorite small little companies. Um, here is another card. Um, this came out last month. This is another card that was part of Stamp Camp. So if you missed it, you might want to kind of consider um, thinking about joining us at the, the Christmas Stamp Camp. So this is the little hummingbird. I love this, the simplicity. And once again, you can see the little coloring. We did kind of a little dot technique on there. And one of the things I love are her sentiments, and this is the new one. It's called Scripty Sentiments, and you can see all the beautiful little sayings. Words cannot express my sincere gratitude. Lots of hugs. Wishing a day that blooms with happiness. Happy birthday. Make this world a beautiful place and sent with lots of love. And then here's another one I really love. Wishing you a lovely day. Thanks for being you, sending you lots of hugs. You're absolutely wonderful. And hello, sunshine. And this one is called Lovely Day Sentiments. This is Mixed Messages, and we may have had this one before. Um, I don't know what to say other than I'm here for you. With such gratitude, hello, friend. Get well wishes. Tomorrow's a new day. Hope is never lost, and celebrate it's your day. And once again, this is an older one um, that I use frequently, and you can kind of read those yourself. And this one is called Sentimental Gems. So these are from Reverse Confetti. They have, um, this is a new die. 
and it's called oval window. So you can see it'll have the double stitching around this oval, and this is a separate layer that's inside. Um, I don't have any samples of this now, but I'm sure that we'll um, have one. This is another, the fancy scallop layer die. This is one that I've used a lot. So you're going to get three different layers. The inside will be your paper. It will not be a frame. And these little half circles will cut out and you have a little stitching. Very cool die. One of my like favorites. I own this one. Um, here is another one and you can see that um, this inside will be solid with your paper. It's not a frame and you'll have your stitching and you have your little tiny holes cut out and you have another line of stitching and the holes. So you can use that double edge but you can also um, put a piece of paper over so you only get um, that look so you kind of get another option. And this one is called the floral chain die, which is um, kind of difficult to see. And I have a couple samples for you. So I'm opening up the Stamping Buddy Pro. It is a stamping tool. And we just got another order in. And these are, I think, are around $32. And they give you two magnets in the back. You have this extra mat, which when you're using a clear stamp stays in. When you're using a cling stamp, such as any of the ones, um, this is what we're talking about it as a cling stamp, the rubber cling, you remove this to use. What's nice about this, besides the price, is that your papers can extend out past this when you're using it. Um, everybody's familiar with the Misty, which is an amazing tool, but they've been at, um, out of stock for quite a long time. And um, all four sides of the Misty are enclosed where this has the two sides open so that you can, you know, just flip your paper either way. So this is kind of a plus with this. So the way this works is this is the frame, if you can see this here, and this is the background which is up through there. Um, so I, I did die cut that in this kind of light coral paper. And then I did two die cuts of um, a little deeper and a little deeper um, coral that would coordinate. And I stacked them up on top of here and I did the pearls. And I'm gonna actually put this card together. So coarse. For those of you that know me, I have that little white layer intentionally left behind there. And I wanted to use um, one of these sentiments, one of the new sentiments on here. So I'm going to kind of put this in that corner. Kind of line this up so I know where I'm going to be working and I'm going to pick out one of these sentiments. I want it to kind of go right in that space. Let's kind of put that magnet over there. Since we have flowers on there, I think I'm going to go with the saying that has the blooming on there. Let's see if that's going to fit in that space. Oh, it's kind of like perfect. So um, what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see there's little lines on there that help to see if um, 
if all your words are lining up and I can see as I put it down, it was off a little bit. I'm gonna grab my VersaClair. My favorite, the VersaClair Nocturne for stamping messages. Get that magnet out of the way. I think my pearls are in the way. So, let's take this off. And if I mess up, which I didn't, I, paper has two sides. So I'll just swap it over since my stamp is lined up and I have it tucked in that corner. Clean this stamp off. And just because I love to layer, I have that darker paper down as my base. And there's my finished card. I love this. I mean, you can use little glitter gems. Um, I think I had mentioned too, a lot of times I do kind of backgrounds um, just with watercolor, just washes the color and I'll save them. And yesterday when I did this card, I grabbed, this one was just done with watercolor paper and just random um, kind of washes of color on the back. And in this one, I used um, just the white basil paper that has like that sparkle on it already. And then I put those little gems i think those are from hunky dory they kind of have this opalescent kind of look to it they kind of twinkle and this thanks don't ask me where it came from it was on my counter it was probably something i did a long time ago and it didn't work but it worked for this card so that's why you never throw anything away so there are two versions and i think we have a third one on that do you see another one over there with the we have one more that I didn't get a chance to finish this morning that we're working on. Super. And here is another version. And we used a foil paper, and here we're going to kind of use a pattern paper on the back. So you have like three different, totally different um, cards um, done with that die cut. Let me move this off to the side. And I think maybe a week ago, here's another card. Remember I randomly painted, I stamped this and just did random colors of washes. Um, here I finished it, I matted it. Um, I have a little white kind of background behind there. Put a little sending hugs, pop that up and put a little bit of um, stickles on there. And super fast card. I mean, like, you know, definitely, like, did not plan where the colors were going. Just kind of randomly just kind of did that kind of wash. And it just, it looks really cool. And these are, like, my favorite summertime colors, so. Kim was just showing me a class that she's working on. We're going to do a, a, a just a... Woo! <laughs> was that fast? That's all you need to see. <laughs> she's working on a, that stitching class. Mm -hmm. So you'll have that. to wait till they're that done. Really good. So, and this is the, the last um, collection that I want to show you today. This is called, um, this collection is Polka Doodles. And... Um, they're a company from England, and I, I kind of like what they have. So, um, they sent me 
um, some color copies of some samples, which I'm going to share with you. And they kind of have different styles all the way around. So I think somebody did an envelope um, with this or maybe a planner or something. But these are these kind of like grungy little flower sets. And I thought these were pretty cool. Slimline cards. You can kind of see the back of them. You know, just once again, this would be a fun one just to do that watercolor um, technique. It could be random or, you know, here the backgrounds were done and then, you know, colors on top. But just fun. Something different. And you can see on the bottom of both of these, you get these additional little stamps that you can put on and layer up. And these are called Queen of Hearts Collage and Wings and Things Collage. They had um, um, some stencils, and I particularly like this one because you get three different stencils in them, and hopefully you can see. And here you get this kind of snowfall, and then you have this um, stars, and then you have the kind of like the swirl with the stars, and you can see that here, the three different stencils in one. These, um, I thought, were great for people that build scenes. They have the, um, the deer or the elk. And you can see the different images that you get. So when you're creating and layering and making, um, using stencils and stamps, I thought these were kind of cool. I haven't seen that from anybody. This is a um, snowflake stencil and it's kind of a frame you can do both sides but you can see how you get that um, that kind of design you can put that at the bottom or it can go in this direction and this one even though i'm not a big halloween person like you know a lot of you guys are but i love this one it has the skulls across the top and um then you have the little haunted house, and then you have the scenery with the tombstones and the separate little bat stencil. So if you can see that from the back. I thought that was very fun, very fun. Okay, so those are a couple of their stencils. For you gnome lovers, um, last, well, last year, I don't think last year we were in COVID, so we were closed, but we had, maybe it was a year before that um, Poco Doodles came out, they had some gnomes, and now they're back with more gnomes, and this is a paper pad collection. I love the bright colors. There's a couple of them with gnomes on there, but there are um, patterns that are gnomeless or on the backside, so you can use them, but they're fun, bright, um, you know, the turquoise and the red and the green. And we have um, their gnome stamps. This one is Gnome Let's Get Blitzen. <laughs> and you can see on the back all the different images that you're going to get. This one is the Slay, um, slay the Season. So you got the gnome and the sleigh, and then you got the two gnomes together, a bunch of little sentiments. You can see the sizes, perfect for cards, A2 size cards. Another um, gnome, this one is called Christmas Fishes. So you got the little penguin and they're fishing in the little ice fishing. Um, and you have the two gnomes around the tree. And then they had a couple that were non-summer um, that I got, the gnome, gnome Voyage. You know, he's in the, in the mushroom. And you can see that it's a nice size stamp. Uh, 
um, naughty or nice, the little gnome with the list. And you know, you can, I like the fact that they color on the back too. So besides giving you the label, I think that's the end of our gnomes that we got in. Um, the next little collection, I thought these were kind of unique. Um, well, first of all, I like this one. And these are stamps. You get the four different, you get the fragile, this kind of little top of a ticket, you know, the um, little postcard kind of, you know, library card and the film strip. So for people that like that mixed media grunge, I thought that was kind of neat. And then I love these, these little girls. Forget all the rules and just create. That one and, and this one, Catch Your Own Rainbow. So once again, these are all part of the polka doodles. Then they have these fun um, little flower sets, whimsical. So these are good for like zentangling, even coloring and doodling, um, for cards, journaling, and so so on. So I kind of felt like there was something here for everybody. Here is another one of the little flowers for doodling. And you can see the size on the back. They're actually quite large. Let's see. Oh, I found another gnome. Here is the gnome with the toadstool. Like it's, he's mailing um, a letter and you can see the size of that on the back. And this one is called Gnome Matter What. This little set I thought was adorable with the little um, holiday animals. And this one is called Latte Christmas Twinings or Tweetings. And you have those cute little images. Um, some of these die, our companies did have, or these stamps did have dies, but um, because of the whole situation, they um, did not come, nor do we know if they are going to come. Oh gosh, let me see. I forgot to show you some of the samples. We can go back. Um, and one of the main reasons that um, I decided to get this company is they had a lot of little boy um, images, which we find really hard to find and they are just so sweet. And you can see the size on the back. This one's called Little Dudes Football. And it's so funny because they call it football because it's in England. So their soccer is our football and so on and so forth. Um, so don't get confused on that. This one I thought was awfully cute. And then the superhero. And another little knight with the dragon. And the little boy monster. And the, I, like I said, how could you not? You know, they're just, I like that. Have a super cool day. And here, if you can see, these are some of the color copies. Here's the, um, the little superhero guy in a card that they did. One of the other little boys. We'll have these um, on a little ring that you can then um, go back and refer to these if you want. Here's another one with the superhero. You know, they did the little shaker behind with the star. The 
the soccer ball. So those are all the little boy collection stamps. And then, of course, they have some little girls. Let me find the little girls. We have the little girl with the presents and the little dog. This one is called Winnie, a pile of gifts. We have Winnie relaxing on the little tube in the pool. And then we have, oops, one more and with the, um, the Christmas ornament. And they also have some cute little images with dogs and cats. Horse and Boo, this is Surprise, and this one is Great Friends. And once again, you can see the size of them on the back. And the last stamp that I got um, is their poinsettia. I did like their poinsettias. Everybody's coming out with poinsettias, and, but um, I like all the different um, parts and pieces. And here are some card samples that they're sharing. And I like that setup, that's kind of cool. And this is using some of the parts and pieces and not even the poinsettia. So those are all the new images um, from Polka Doodles. So I think, um, I think my show and tell is kind of done. And I'll just wait to see if anybody has any questions. These um, are pretty much all online. We might be missing a couple pictures of the images. Um, I have to send those to Jess and she'll get those images um, online. I was supposed to do that this morning. This is still wet, um, so it's not going to die cut well. So I'll show you this on Saturday. We'll go back and finish that up. And let's see, anybody else have any questions or anything? So like I said, all the um, tin dies are here in the store. They're also online. Um, if we were out of them, you can pre-order. I have another order coming in probably next week. Um, so we'll have those back in. And like I said, we'll be having some samples, lots of samples done with them um, in the store. We'll be sharing that with you and a couple classes. Um, so I think that's it. So our class schedules are up and online and um, right through the end of this month and a couple going into September. And we're all working really hard on classes for September and so on. So I think that's it for me then. I don't see any questions coming through. So everyone have a wonderful rest of your day. It's a perfect day. No excuses. Stay inside. Create. You know, you can't go outside and weed or anything like that. And it's raining. What other, you know, perfect, perfect opportunity um, to create. So hopefully we inspired you. So everyone, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you Saturday. Thanks for joining us.